Welcome back to Fox 28 News at 7, everybody. Hey, Justin's off. So he's on a special assignment, but he left his Justin and Friends duties to me. And joining me this morning to talk about everything Strawberry Point and Strawberry Days is Abby Thompson. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Yeah, so apparently the Strawberry Days is doing a little Hawaiian theme here, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, well, this year we're having an Aloha Hawaii theme. For How did you decide on that? Um, just a combination. It's a fun theme, so it decided is. to go with it. Yeah, I like it. As you can tell, we're all decorated. So I've never been to Strawberry Days before, so tell me what can I expect when I go out there? Well, Strawberry Days, we kick it off at 2 o'clock on Friday with a pet show, a talent show, kitty parade. Then we have um, a dance that night. Uh, proceeds go to the fire department. Uh -huh. And then the next day, there is a pancake breakfast by the VFW. You have um, crowning of Little Miss and Mr. Strawberry with festivities in the park with rides. Parade is at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And So you said this is the 44th annual, so this yeah. has kind of been a long tradition happening in Strawberry Point. Yeah. Around. And you, Are you the home of the largest strawberry? Is that what it is? That's correct. Right on Highway 13. Drive right through. It's right up. And really? Right up so is there a background behind this? I mean, do you have a lot of strawberry fields in Strawberry Point, or how did this theme become so ingrained in your community? Well, as far as I know, yeah, years years ago, it was actually called Franklin, and then it was incorporated oh. with a town and some with Strawberry Hills, but I haven't seen Strawberry Hills around. But, wow, yeah. that's really interesting. So I hear there's also some uh, free ice cream. Yes, free ice cream. Stay around with the festivities. We have a hypnotist coming, and after the hypnotist, we will be serving free strawberries and ice cream from Course. five to six in the park. You have to have the strawberries with yeah. it. What are some of the other big events? Do you have a big parade that happens that too? That was at, it will be Saturday at one o'clock. Okay. Yep. And then also a Saturday night we have fireworks. Really? We'll be having a food stand out there. Uh -huh. And then Sunday, there's a tractor pull, and then at the tractor pull, we also serve free strawberries and ice cream again. <laughs> you cannot be allowed at Strawberry Days unless yeah. you have something strawberry, correct? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, is there a lot of food out there too? Food booths and oh, whatnot? Oh, yeah. We have a great food booth, and we'll have different church groups and volunteers that are having different events. And it's great family fun for all ages. It really is. So, Abby, how do people get more information if they want to learn more about yeah. it? Check out our website, strawberrypt.com. Or you can call our chamber office at 563-933-4417. Great. And then when does it exactly happen, the time frame of when people should go out there? Well, you can come Friday afternoon, like I said, to the pet show. Saturday, there's stuff going on all day Pretty from all day. 11 till the fireworks at night. And then Sunday, so it's a whole weekend event. Sounds good, Abby. Hey, it looks like you're going to have some good weather for it, too, so that's nice. Yes, You yes. can thank Jennifer over there. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming in this morning and also decorating me. Yes. I appreciate it. You have to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to wear it. 7.45 <laughs> now. Still ahead this morning, we are off and racing. Joy and I give you our review of Fast and Furious 6. We're going to tell you whether you should see it, rent it, or skip it here on Fox 28 News at 7.